Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of Order With Art. And uh, I just wanted to quickly mention that we have, uh, let me time it perfectly here, directly south ozone layer was just added literally seconds ago. Um, and that comes from, let me see if I get the name correct. I'm not looking. Lapnodon Cubing, a very cool username. And um, Lapnodon Cubing reminded me that this is day two of asking for ozone layer. So we don't want that to um, prolong any further. There it is. And let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Let's see what we have for today's Wordle. Uh, it's going to be... Ha! <laughs> How about that? Well, Lapnodon Cubing, you have absolutely nothing to complain about. No sooner than it was entered, it is selected. Now let's take a look at Ozone Layer. That is funny. Um, it's going to cause some trouble, okay? It's going to cause some trouble. Um, the ozone layer is thinning out, uh, as we know, um, and, um, and probably in direct proportion to, um, you know, how I feel like I'm going to thin out if I don't solve this, um, you know, within six guesses. Now, you get the double O's. On the other hand, you know, it, 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 you never know. It could just land properly that we get one of those. The Z is a terrifying letter. Um, but guess what? Most of the trouble, to be fair, does end there. Layer is a great word. Um, that is a spectacular word. And the only other issue, of course, is that we are doubling up the E's. Um, but they're sort of like in um, complementary positions, right? The, the worst case is when they are in the same position because that's basically useless information. All right. Well, I'm kind of excited, but let's just go ahead and see what ozone layer does for us. And so, as always, let's just make a nice smooth transition over to our Wordle screen, and bam, there it is. Okay, so very exciting. Uh, ozone gets us an E, okay? Not terrible. And layer gets us an R. Okay. Very interesting. Um, most likely, um, so we know that that's the only E, right? Um, that should be the only E. Um, let's think about that. My brain is just sort of like uh, still processing this ozone layer. So we got the green E. We tried to put another one in. Um, uh, yeah, it could still be in a different position. Um, that's the only thing. All right. Um, but we have an R. We do have an R. So what should we do? Um, we've gotten rid of a decent number of vowels. We only have the I and the U left. I'd love to create a word that... Uh, Ooh, I was about to say sweet. That would have been pretty sweet, but uh, we do have the R. Um, I'm just thinking if there, if I could do some sort of an unscramble using those. Uh, let me think of an unscramble with that. Um, yeah, can't quite think of one. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what we could do with that uh, R. Is always a, a C rather is always a good letter. Um, well, there's a lot of options. Um, there's creme, there's crepe. Um, that again strikes me as fairly reckless because we're not testing too many letters. And of course, that's just on the whim that it even begins with a C. I, I sort of feel like I should go with a, a brand new word here. I really should. Um, which brings us back to sweet because um, it does give me all my vowels laid out. If only I could just think of a word where we could try the E or sorry, the R um, just to get some positional information because it could potentially be an R E word. You know, it could be something like uh, you know, it could be something like fiber. That's probably not as strong, I guess, just because of the F and the B are slightly weaker layer uh, letters. Um, slightly weaker. Ah, but you know what? Ah, I don't know. I think it would be a completely reasonable word. Um, but there's probably too many. So let's just be careful here. Um, hmm. Bring me back to that sweet. Yeah, let's just go with sweet. Okay, so I'm, wow, well, I'm very glad I did that. 
Uh, that was a very good uh, word to put in because we have no U or I. And we did get a T. Um, and it definitely wouldn't have been fiber. So I'm glad I didn't do that guess. All right. So now what do we have here? We've got a T-R-E. Um, we've got a T-R-E. Oh, man, I've been, I've been kind of consistently getting these in fours. I don't know if that's going to happen today. Uh, there's just a little bit. Um, there's just a little bit too much, I think, still going on here. Uh, it could be there, I suppose. It could be there. Not here, but there. Actually, that's a great guess. Um, because we know that we're going to need another E anyway, right? Um, and it repositions the T. Yeah, let's go with there. Yes! Woo! I feel really good about that. I know there's nothing special about a four, but I just feel really, really good about that. I don't know why. Um, and, you know, playing off of ozone layer, no less. So that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't quite stick into a hard mode um, because of sweet. But I think you guys understand that when you do start off with um, two word entries, um, it's sort of creating its own little version of a hard mode. Um, yeah, and I just... Um, I, I, I did not see far enough in advance to go with there, and I absolutely wanted to test the remaining vowels. So I'm very happy about that. I'm extremely excited. And ozone layer suite there. Okay, let's go with our l new little gimmick. Um, let's go with our new little gimmick. I actually feel like we're going to tie with Squirtle. I don't see it getting to there and three with Slate. Yeah. I mean, it'll lock in the E, but it'll have to shuffle around a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to predict a four for uh, – for, uh, our good buddy Squirtle. Let's see how we do. Ozone layer suite there. There. Ozone. Layer. Suite. There. I did predict correctly. Ha ha. So my prediction skills are getting a little bit better now, aren't they? We're, a Squirtle would have gone slate. Tithe. That's a cool one. Yellow T, yellow T green E, go with tithe. Theme. And then there. Uh, we started off with a much harder um, start with Ozone, and uh, 950 guesses actually wasn't terrible. That's kind of funny. It brought it down by a factor of 15. I've seen much um, worse. Uh, layer did a little bit of improvement, about a factor of nine, and then Sweet was great. Now, I'm going to just be curious. We had um, from Sweet, what else did we have? Guess what? You know? I guess we didn't have too much else. I would not have thought of terre, terres, terf, metre, or petre. I only thought of there. So I guess I don't feel like uh, an incredible genius getting the there. It was pretty much the only one because let's face it, these other words are kind of um, a little bit um, askew. But sw uh, but the layer uh, getting to the sweet, that was the good one. I mean, look at all these options I had, which may have kind of sent me down the wrong path, right, guys? So yeah, so... Um, not bad at all. Not bad at all. There it is. There's the there lurking in that pack of um, 100. It looks like it's only 120 words. There's 100, There's 33 others. I wonder how you get access to the remaining words. That's kind of interesting. It doesn't seem like it lets you click um, on those. Interesting. Yeah, that's funny. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, um, I hope that you enjoyed that edition of Wordle with Art. Um, and... Uh, that was pretty exciting. I'm very happy that I did manage to squeak out a four on that one with ozone layer. Uh, that is kind of a scary entry. Um, and of course, as always, please give me your path to victory. And yes, of course, I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow with yet another edition of Wordle with Art.